co-main event features a middleweight bout between two American fighters, Kevin Holland and Kyle Dalkus. So Dalkus coming to this fight is 10-2 and two overall. Very good record. He's slight underdog here at plus 120. He's from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Comes out of Martinez BJJ. He's 28 years old, 6'3 in height with a 76-inch reach. As for Kevin Holland, he's 21-7 and seven overall. 3-2 in his last five fights. A slight favorite coming into this fight from Fort Worth, Texas. Comes out of Travis Luther BJJ. He's 28 years old. Six foot three in height as well with an 81-inch reach. So age-wise, identical. Height-wise, identical. A slight reach advantage there for Kevin Holland. Now, most people in the game and most casual fans, they know Kevin Holland. I'm not going to beat you up with a long breakdown here. We kind of know his, his deal. To summarize him in a nutshell, extremely talented, has a lot of the tools, submission game, striking game. He's knocked people out from his back, um, You know, done a lot of impressive things. Also has a tendency to get distracted, has a tendency to do a lot of talking, has a tendency to have more interest in what's going on outside the cage at times than what's going on in the cage, um, and has a tendency as a better to let you down. Um, has been in fights where he has that opportunity to win and doesn't seem to want to close the door. So for a lot of reasons, you're, you have, you're caution when winning the bet on him, but skill-wise, undeniably has the skill level to go in there with anyone in this division, give him problems, and actually go ahead and submit somebody and finish someone. So as for Kyle Dalkis, you like the record 10-2. and two. You like the momentum. You like that his brother just won last week. Um, so there's a lot of positives with him. He's coming in here just off of a loss to Phil Hawes. He didn't get knocked out, just lost a decision, got out grappled, got out wrestled, got out position, lost position points. His prior loss was in 2020 versus Brandon Allen. Again, another decision loss. So the guy's never been stopped in the ring. Very tough. Can take some damage to the face. Um, he's very uh, very light skin, and so when he's getting hit, you can see that there's a, a, you know, a redness factor. Um, so he wears the damage, and you can sort of see when he's been punched. So it's never great, um, but you saw that in those fights in the past where he you know, took a little damage. His best win in the UFC, uh, only win, I'm sorry, was against Dustin Stolvsus. Stolvsus, and that was back in 2020 by decision. Now, look, I think here if we're just taking all the, the, all the, pre, all the prejudice that we have about Kevin Holland, because I have some prejudice too. Like I've, I've watched him fight, and it's frustrating. It's like you want to tell the dude, like, can you please focus on the fight and just try to do, the, do that part. Let's not do the extra stuff, you know. Um, and if you even watch his interviews and stuff, like he, he's 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 not a bad guy, but you could just tell that he's he's just doing too much extra. He's that kind of person or that kind of fighter, like just doing a little too much extra, just focusing the fight. But putting all that bias aside, if you're just lining him up skill level wise, Kevin Holland clearly is a much more much I mean much much better fighter in almost every area. Cal Dalkis is a tough young man. He's going to give you a lot of effort. Um, it's going to be hard for Kevin Holland to maybe get him out of there. Um, but I think Kevin Holland over the course of three rounds gets the win here. And I think for Kevin Holland, um, if there's ever been a little sense of urgency, this would be it, right? Like it's one thing when he's losing fights against guys like, um, his last two losses against Marvin, Marvin Vittori and against like Derek Brunson, you know, both, both again, losses where they're by decision. Uh, he never gets hurt. He has a few moments. Um, but since knocking out Sosa from his back in 2020, it's been a little like, heh. You know, in, in the Marvin Vittori fight, I believe he was a replacement, right? Because Vittori was initially supposed to fight somebody else. Um, who was supposed to fight? Pat. Not Pat Tillman. Anyway, the point is, he came there late replacement, did his job. He talked about that post-fight. Like, I came in here. I, I did my job. I came in, did the job for the boss. So, it's like, enough of that. Let's now start winning some fights again. Let's see you meet your potential. Let's hope that's his mentality. So, you know, from all those, for all those reasons, I'm on Kevin Holland to win the fight. I'm not looking at any prop bets. I'm taking the straight up money line in this fight. I think it's fair. I, I would I would imagine if Kevin Holland wasn't like, again, didn't have the reputation for being a clown, I guess for lack of better words, a clown. I don't want to call someone a clown like, and, 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 and paint him as a clown. He's, he, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. He seems like overall a nice guy, but he, he acts clownish. <laughs> Is that the right way of saying it? He acts clownish. So he since he does that, I'm, I'm tagging him a clown. He does that sometimes. Like I just hope he sh he saves the clown behavior for pre-fight and post-fight. And then while he's in the cage, listen, execute your game plan, do your thing, show the skill level you have. Because a loss here, by the way, it doesn't end his UFC run by any means. But it is going to be like, whoa, dude. Like now it's going to be like a little bit like let's start looking at the panic meter because now you're losing against a guy like Cal Dalkas who, yes, is tough and, yes, should be in the UFC and, um, and it should be around for a little while, but he should not be beating guys like Kevin Holland if you just match him up skill level for skill level. So that's our breakdown, guys. Good luck with this fight. We're on Kevin Holland to win the fight, and, and I can see him winning it by submission or by a TKO, even Dr. Stoppage from the damage he's going to do to Kyle Dacus's face. 
Or I could also see him winning a very boring decision where he knows he wins round, round one and round two, messes around for round three, you know, has Kevin Holland like in a body lock, back control, maybe has him in a head triangle, and just talking to him. Like, I, can you see Kevin Holland on his back with his legs wrapped around Cal Dacus's neck in a body triangle, like punching him in the head, but then taking a break and laying on his back, putting his arms up, be like, look, everyone, I won. I'm beating a fighter that's much lower level than I am, a fighter that I should be dominating, but it's just a decision and I'm okay. Give me my money. So, you know, from that standpoint, he's also, how do I say this as well? Kevin Holland could be a little bit frustrating again to put your money behind because of all the antics, because of all this stuff. With that said, let's put all that shit aside. Just shoop. Kevin Holland's got the skill level to go in here and beat a fighter that he's got, I guess, a whole level above, in my opinion. So we're on Kevin Holland to win the fight. 